Hey everybody, I'm Cam. Uh, I, this is my first video blog or blog or video that I've done for working with palettes. Here's my palette right there. Uh, I'm going to create a seat for my bathroom. I'm going to make a little chair so or a little bench that I can sit down on in the bathroom area. I've got a nice large bathroom. Let me show you that in a minute. So we just moved into this house and uh, we've got a little bathroom here. As you can see in the background behind me, but uh, right here is my tub and right there is a nice almost two foot top to that tub area. And it's not too bad, but when you want to sit down on it, there's not really a comfortable place to sit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little bench that go right in here, probably about yay high or so, out of pallet wood. I'm gonna sand it down, paint it up, make sure it looks good, and today I'm just gonna get it done and get it sanded, maybe sanded, I don't know if I'm gonna get it sanded, but I'm gonna start working on it so that I can sit down right over there, right over there, and enjoy sitting in the bathroom. I don't know why I wanna enjoy sitting in the bathroom, but I'm gonna just sit in the bathroom right there. So, back outside, here's my pallet. And as you notice, there's, it's kind of been a half used palette. I've already used a couple pieces off of it, but I'm gonna take these three right here. And these are the three I'm gonna use to make my bench out of. It's about one foot wide and it's about 31 inches long. And so I don't wanna reuse this piece, these particular um, rails. I just want to use this portion here, which is the plank side. So I'm going to cut off the rails and I'm going to put the plank together. I'm going to, I'm going to recut some, I'm going to create some new rails out of this piece of wood, which if you look really well, real good, you can see the nail holes in here because this was a pallet piece, nice long. It's currently about six feet tall, maybe a little taller than six feet and uh, was an eight foot pallet at one point in time. So. A lot of people have different ways to cut these things or to take these things apart. I use a sawzall. It's quick. It's easy. As long as your blade is not dull. This is a, kind of a dull blade. So we'll try this out. So after a quick little run, I've got my pieces of wood cut off. You'll notice the two sides of these. You've got some side that actually has a nice shape to it and it's a little rough and you can see the nail holes here and then the other side which is kind of dirty and there's some more nail holes and this is where the heads are it's kind of nice when you want to keep the heads in there or reuse those those holes where the heads are at um, to be able to do that i'm probably going to turn these over just because um, it's a cleaner side but as you can tell there's a whole bunch of uh, slivers on this and I really don't want to uh, get slivers in my backside, so I'm definitely gonna sand this thing down. So, um, but that's that. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of wood right here and I'm gonna cut it down to 12 inches long, couple of sections of 12, so three sections of 12, so I can put this, start putting it back together. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna make some legs. And when I'm done with my legs, I'm gonna start nailing it all together. So that's the next step. Okay, so I just cut three, three short pieces. They're about 12 inches long. Um, you see a measuring tape. Actually, you see two measuring tapes and, an, and a uh, pencil and a square here. I used the square once, the pencil three times, and the measuring tape once. They're not perfect. They're not going to be perfect. And kind of the rustic feel that I'm going for won't make them perfect. So you'll notice it's one or two are a little bit longer than the other ones. They've still got nail holes in them. I'm gonna just pound those down a little bit. There's a nail over there, or a hammer over there. I'm gonna pound those down a little bit so I don't have to deal with them too much. The only thing I was most concerned about was making sure that I didn't cut a nail with my saw because I just didn't want to ruin my saw. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach, after I nail these or hammer these down in a little bit deeper, I'm going to attach this to this and I've got a little punch over there to take out the old nails that are in here so that I can reuse those holes. And I'll just put some newer nails in there and it'll look pretty good. It'll look like it's kind of the old thing and like I didn't cut the old nails out. So I'm gonna start with that. Okay, so I'm kind of midway through this step and as you can tell, I've got all these 
old nails out and you can tell the kind of thing just got ripped up a little bit. I really don't care because it's going to be on the underside. This is the side we're going to be looking at. So next thing I did is I went and got myself some Galvi. I had these sitting around someplace. They're actually exterior framing nails. You know, six penny, two winters. As you can tell, I really don't have a design except for one in my head. So we're just going to make this thing up as it goes. So keep watching. So I ran into some design issues as I was looking at my design. Turn the phone down here. You can take a look. See, I was going to put a piece on the front, a piece on the back, and use the three for the middle. So there's all three of them. Here's the issue that I have. I only cut enough pieces to go on the top and not all the way across. The other issue I have is that this piece right here in the middle, it's actually crooked. I don't care. I'm just going to keep pounding away. We're going to keep going and it'll be good when we're done. Hey, nobody will notice it because it'll be in the middle. So uh, I'm going to keep, I'm going to cut two more pieces out um, from my palette, which is around here someplace. Oh, there it is. It's over there behind me. There's my palette behind me and I'm just going to keep going from there. So see you in a bit. So I've just cut down the pallet, um, tearing everything apart. There's the rails, there's the rest of the uh, regular sized uh, planks. And then we've got these three other planks out here, which are decent size. I'll use those for something else. I'm not sure what I'm going to build next. Actually, I do know what I'm going to build next. It's going to be a, uh, a rack for my towel. <coughs> Excuse me. But next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pull some nail heads out of these and I'm going to attach that to this. Next thing to do after that is to build some legs and there's my legs sitting right there. I'm just going to cut those in half pretty much and uh, build some legs out of that. We'll see how it all works when we're done. I might even put a plank or two down at the bottom to uh, give it a little support. I don't know yet. Design is not even in my head at this point in time. It's just kind of working as it goes. There's my saws all over there and my chop saw. So sun's just about ready to go down. It's getting a little brighter. It's right there. So um, my goal is to be done before it gets dark. So I better hurry. Here I am sitting on my box. Well, my seat. It looks pretty good. Um, you notice the gaps here. They're gonna be kind of nice just to, uh, they're, well, they're gaps. And uh, there's the other side, still has gaps. Some people might have uh, measured that. I didn't. Like I told you, I really didn't care. It just looks pretty good. I just eyeballed it and there it is. So I've got a fairly, fairly strong box. Let me turn this camera around. Turning the camera around, there's my box. Um, I just kind of put one nail on each one of them all the way around. It's just gonna hold it. Most of the time it'll be sat on. And uh, there it is, there's my box. Is my crate that I made or my seat that I've made and now I'm gonna throw some legs in there there's some pieces of wood there I'm gonna cut those in just about half um, with my chop saw and then I'm gonna attach it to the the side frames the heavier sides and we'll go from there I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna attach it probably gonna throw, throw some screws in there and uh, screw them in at the sides so some nice long screws probably three inches or so so deck screws, I don't know. I don't know why I gotta figure out what I got laying around in the first place, so we'll check it out. So in the last portion of the video, I told you how much I didn't care how uh, bad that was. This is the part I really do care about, that I wanna make sure that these legs are really, really close to exactly the same length, because once I put them in, then if they're wrong, these are going to start to shake on me, which I really don't want to have happen. So. I'm working hard to try and keep them straight. The hard part with my particular chop saw is that I can't cut all four of them at the exact same time. So I've got to cut two and two. I could possibly do three, but then I've got three and one. So hopefully both sides are pretty close to each other and then we'll go from there. So we'll try the next step and see how uh, off it is. So. So the goal was to uh, get my seat done and sanded maybe if I could before the sun went down and the sun's not quite down yet, but take a look. There I am sitting in my bathroom 
on my bench there oh my hands in the way so i'm sitting on the bathroom on my bench i should look that direction because that way you can at least see what i'm looking like uh holding my phone up here and uh yeah a little dutch angle over there makes it look cool but yeah there's the bench and it's pretty secure i'm wiggling around as you can tell by the camera shaking and it's got the four legs i was actually really surprised at all four legs you know worked well um even though they were you know i tried to make sure that they were all the right size or all the right you know length i hope they are but i'm not wiggling around too bad I'm, you know maybe a little bit jiggle here um did not get it sanded so uh, i'm not gonna sit on this with a bare bottom at this point in time because i don't want any slivers oh yucky not a fun one hey doc can you take some slivers out no uh. So, but that's, that's the bench. And uh, now I get to hang out in my bathroom. As you can tell, I just like sitting in my bathroom, right? Thanks for watching. See you next time. And uh, remember, I'm Cam. I have no other channel name, so.